Bentley was obsessed. Every night he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron, a big-time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counteroffer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. It's time we dealt with Bugshot. We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True, true. Since Bugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't fight him out in the open for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear you. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal, after all. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into beating in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to the same place. Agreed. I've got to hand it to you, Bentley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside in the town square. No way! I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. My head is spinning from your breath. 
What, do you gargle with raw sewage every night before bed? Yeah, you're half right. I find a nice tang to my breath helps maintain my poisonal space. I'm sure you wouldn't win in the fight anyway. You've got such a long, sad history of losing to the Cooper gang. I could whip your whole gang with one arm if you jerks would sit still. Look at these arms. I'm unstoppable. Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentlemen callers than the operator. Nobody talks that way about my mother. Nobody! Okay, little broken down runt. Looks like you're gonna get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. Okay, Sly. Bugshot is on his way outside. Go find Inspector Fox and lead her back to the town square. Hey, Inspector Fox. Still looking for a date to the prom? Quit running! It's lie. Why run? Why not face me like a real man? Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dirt. Hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot, alias Two Gun Tony, also known as Meathead Mugshot. Seven foot three inches, 324 pounds, wanted in seven countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. And yes, I'm that cob hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady, feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby! Booking this idiot will take all night. Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. 